The Cadillac Escalade just dripping in swagoo from an aftermarket company. Bumblebee is getting his own movie. Yeah. And Lexus has a new sexy looking hybrid. Plus Chevy says, oh yeah, Ford Mustang GT350 or Camaro 1LE is straight up faster than you. Oh, shots fired like. Three of them. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. Plus, it's hump day. So we'll check in with the uh, fans for Friends Day Wednesday, that's for sure. That's right. Oh yeah, FLD, hashtag FLD Army. Army. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Derek D, and this is still Fastlane Daily, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Following the debut of this sexy Lexi right here, yeah. Talking the uh, Lexus LC500 that debuted at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show, which is an awesome looking car that pretty much looks exactly like the concept version. Well, now we have this little blue devil. Yeah, the hybrid Lexus LC500 H. H standing for hybrid, of course, which will say how do you do at the Geneva Motor Show. It has some minor tweaks on the outside. You know, got that fresh blue color and promises, quote, enhanced driving pleasure, more performance, and greater efficiency. Well, duh. Of course you're going to say that, Lexus. You're not going to say it's not good. Uh, it's also putting the multi-stage hybrid system to the test. While the regular LC500 makes 467 horsepower from a 5-liter V8, we aren't sure what the H powertrain is getting yet. Have to wait until March 1st for that. Nice. So yeah, not too far off. Uh, you like the Transformers movies? No. No? No. Have you seen them? Any of them? That's a no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you guys like them. They're fun. They're action packed. And everyone loves Bumblebee the Camaro Transformer, especially Paramount Pictures, because they are doing a spin-off of Transformers focusing just on Bumblebee. It'll be in theaters on June 8, 2018 meaning we'll see another custom Camaro in the starring role. Omar is definitely stoked about that. There's no title for the movie yet, but it will come out a year after Transformer, Transformers 5 debuts in mid-2017 and a year before the sixth installment is released in 2019. Although, as you probably know, Bumblebee doesn't speak in any of the Transformers films and he only communicates by like playing different radio stations and songs. So... That'll be cool to see how a whole movie revolves around that, I guess. Or maybe they'll make him talk now. Who knows? We know Omar will be there at midnight waiting in line just to go to the movie. Yep. 100%. Have you ever noticed a strong connection between cars and the longevity of sequels to movies involving them? Think about it. Whenever there's action-packed movies with cars, there's always a bunch. Transformers, Fast and Furious, of course, is probably the best example. Uh, James Bond. Uh, the Transporter movies, uh, what else? Herbie the Love Bug. Herbie the Love Bug had a bunch of movies. Sure. Yeah. So, I don't know, I need, to get in a, I need to get in a movie like that. If there's cool cars and action involved, you're almost guaranteed a sequel, it seems. Hey, speaking of, feel free to sign the Fast and Furious fan-made petition, by the way. That's right, link's in the description if you guys want to check that out. Yep. Shout out to Steven Rosario for that one. Shouty. Shout Shouty. Shout out. Since we are on the subject of Camaros, Chevrolet believes that its newly launched 2017 Camaro 1LE package will outperform that Ford horse. Yeah, I'm talking the Mustang Shelby GT350. Chief Camaro engineer Al Oppenheiser said that the performance pack for the Camaro SS was benchmarked against the Mustang GT350 during testing, and he's confident that it's faster. He said with all the swag in the world, quote, I have the answer, but I'll let the rest of you decide how we did. I'll tell you, this car is three seconds faster than the previous one, Ellie. Your readers can uh, go out and make their own conclusions. And then you know what he did after that? No. He wasn't even on a mic, but he had one and dropped it. That's amazing. Amazing. Al Oppenheiser doesn't mess around. You know what? I'm just going to call him the Oppenheiser from now on. You know the Oppenheiser? He earned it. Tells it like it is. 
So remember yesterday when I told you the Cadillac, that Cadillac wants to move the Escalade more upmarket and more luxurious? Yes, of course you do. Well, a company by the name of Lexani did that already, and it's just dripping in luxury. Lexani, which you probably know for making aftermarket wheels, just finished work on a comprehensive transformation of a 2016 Cadillac Escalade in what it dubs as the Lexani Viceroy. Or Viceroy. Whatever. Minus the armor plating, the outside of Lexani's Escalade Viceroy remains standard, but once inside, it's like you just stepped into the smallest, most swankiest hotel ever. Has a totally different seating arrangement, a celestial headliner to gaze at the faux stars inside your car. Other things include a 48-inch Samsung 4K TV, a multimedia player, an iPad Air affixed to the wall, and two screens displaying images from the security cameras found on the outside of the car. Oh, you fancy, huh? Well, oh, good for you. Thanks, Christian. Good for you, Christian. Because that's, that's what I thought of it. Yeah. I'm saying. Okay, what do you think, Erica? Check out FLD Army? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. For Friends Day, Wednesday. That's right. What are they up to? Okay, first we have uh, FLD fan Brian Tillery here watching this past Friday's episode while enjoying a brew. Says it's one of the main things he looks forward to after a long work day. Even, even as a sister-in-law watching That's now. That's so nice. Awesome. Uh, next is FLD fan James McDonald, James Mickey D, who snapped this picture of a BMW X5 just way too bedazzled. I, I don't know what's going on here, but it ain't right. Nope. I mean, there's, there's right and wrong, and that is wrong, okay? It's just on so many levels. You took a nice car and you destroyed it. Done. Next, we have Javier Real, or Javier Real, yep. here. He said in this picture of a Chevy Cobalt Nissan GTR SS. A Nissalt? Sure. A Nissalt GTR SS? Hey. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that seems totally real. Huh, Javier? Nice. Yeah. Uh, this Tesla here has got no gas. Now, listen, um, I get what you're trying to do here. You're trying to say, got no gas, with an S. But see, on that, that's a Z. So he's got no gas. I've never put gas in my car, have you? That's all I'm saying. Thanks, Stephanie fan. Mark Stopek. Okay, you put gas in your car? No, never heard of it. Never heard of it. It's weird. Next is from uh, Yevgeny Zilbin. Yevgeny? The hell of it. I, I, I got it wrong, man. I'm going to call you EZ, right? That's your, that's your initials. That's right. EZ, yeah. He took this pic of the Honda Odyssey town car. Also, enhance. It says Sisley on the right side there. This is just an Odyssey in general. An Odyssey. I don't know what's going on here. And although you call him EZ, his name is not EZ. That's right. Oh, ho, ho, Erica. It's so funny. Well done. Deputy fan Daniel E. from DEF, most deaf. Most deaf. <laughs> DEF. You got EZ and DEF. Uh, cute cover photo of his kid's face smushed against glass. Oh, so cute. Uh, cute. Anyway, he took this picture of a guy who Honda, according to him, it's a great idea to put your snowmobile on top of the car. Oh. Hey, it had to be moved. You know, I need this snowmobile out of here. And he was yeah. like, you know what? Get All it. I got is my Honda Accord. Get so it. he had to do it. Put it on the roof. All right, next, uh, the Chicago Auto Show is going on right now. So, of course, we get a few of these. Here's FLD fan Dimitro Kuprik with Fiat Model Megan, Fiat Spokes Model Megan. That's right. That's right. There she is, landscape mode. Very nice. You even see the 124 Spider right there. Nice shot. Uh, this is uh, Sotiri Hovardis with Megan as well. And you know what, guys? I got to commend you both. No hover hands. Good job. You can't hover that hand. You go right for the waist, you go right for the shoulder. That's it. They really learned. Yeah, really learned. Uh, next is Christopher Sprague here doing what I do, testing out the carpet in front of the Cadillac CTS at the auto show. CT6. What did I say? CTS. I always do that. CT6. Oh. Thank you, Erica. Um, said Bob Schumann Jr. would be proud. But you know what? Forget BSJ, all right? Chris, I'm proud. Aww. I'm proud of Aww. you. 
testing out those rugs. All right, lastly, we have longtime Melody fan, Nicola Prius. She was on her way to go snowboarding, and she saw this store, Come and Go. Yep, that's the name, Come and Go. And nice VWCC right there, too, just like mine, black, my old one. Uh, she said she pulled in to take a pic to send to us, then pulled right back out. Here's Nicole <laughs> suited up before. That's gross. Yeah, that is great. What? Get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, okay. Here's Nicole suited up before going snowboarding, although later that day she apparently fell and broke her tailbone. Aww. Yeah. So get well soon, Nicole. Tailbones, hey, they come and go. But they should stay. <laughs> but they should stay. Be safe out there. Thanks, friends. Oh, <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Keep uh, it together, Derek. All the posts. Appreciate the posts. Uh, remember, you could post them on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, email us as well. <laughs> All right. All right, Valdi, question of the day is, do you think they are making a Transformers movie based around Bumblebee because of the popularity of the Camaro? I mean, the Camaro is doing very well. It looks very good. Maybe they're like, hey, maybe we should have a spinoff focusing on that car. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hashtag FLDQ of the D. And I think, uh, do we have the digital AK here? What is it? Tips at PassingDeadly.com. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought, yeah, good to have you back, digital AK. Do you say anything else, or? Comments. Thought so. Okay. All right. Well, uh, there you go, folks. That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, remember, I had a big announcement in yesterday's episode. If you want to go see that again, watch yesterday's episode or go on our Facebook page. We posted it there. Um, yeah. Time Inc. bought us in Drive. So if you want more details, watch yesterday's episode. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I think that's hey, the Derek. Blooper. What? Erica, hi. It's Wednesday. So when you go over the hump, it sounds like what? That was your job. I was asking you. Come on. Oh. I'm doing the motion. Just they can pretend they, they're watching me. Ready? Here we go. Merham. <laughs> Just trying to go up the hill and then it made it down. Let's do a taller hill. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Quick one. Yep. Nope. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.